let me talk about the occupational structure of employment in the country. When I talk of the occupational structure, the figure that comes from statistics is that the people employed in the primary sector are 57.3 percent, in the secondary sector 17.6 percent, in the tertiary sector 25.1 percent. Now primary sector is that sector where most of the employment is associated with nature. It could be farming and related things. When I talk of the secondary sector, this means the processing of the primary products, the industries and the factories. The tertiary sector is the service sector. Now, highest is the primary followed by the tertiary and last in the secondary sector. When a country starts developing, the nature of the occupational structure automatically changes. We see the trend is that less people will be employed in the primary sector and more shall move towards the secondary and the tertiary sector. That is a clear significance that there is development in the country. But sadly in India, there is a very modest change in the occupational structure of the country. Still, most of the people are dependent on primary sector for earning their livelihood, which clearly indicates that the country has not yet developed and there is a long way yet to go and fulfill our dream of calling ourselves a developed nation. When we are able to change these figures and that is the time that we shall be termed as a developed nation. Now, another problem that we face in the country is called as the problem of casualization. That is the workers employed casually. There are less regular workers and more of casual workforce in the country. Now, casualization has been increasing, rising in the country which is surely not a good sign for the economy of the country. But what are those factors which are leading to casualization? We must understand that since the people are more dependent on primary sector for earning their livelihood, which means that they are more based in the rural areas. When in the rural areas, they slowly realize that it is a kind of disguised unemployment that they are facing. That is, they are not required where they are. Their incomes become meager. That is the time they decide of migration. Migration towards the urban areas, towards the towns and the cities. When they start moving, when the migration takes place, we have to understand that all those people who have moved from the rural areas directly from the fields are all unskilled laborers. They do not have any skills as such. Thus, what happens is, since they are unskilled, they are taken very casually. They are given low wages, kept as and when required. That is the policy of hire and fire is followed by the people who employ them, which is surely not a good sign, but we have to understand in order to decrease this casualization in the country, we have to first of all have skilled workforce in the country. And since our education is such that it does not provide any kind of skills to the people, it is mere theory, it is mere learning, rote learning. That is why there is so much of casualization. Thus, the migration and the education of the country both have increased casualization. Well, the next is informalization. What is informalization? Informalization is when there is a decline of the workforce 
in the informal sector that is the time the informalization starts taking this place that is to say there are two kind of sectors we have the organized sector and the unorganized sector about which I talk in detail in the next clipping.